Juneteenth National Independence Day is a federal holiday in the United States. It was celebrated uh, beginning in 2021, commemorating the emancipation of enslaved uh, African Americans. However, many states in the U.S. still do not consider it as a public holiday. It is due to a lack of acceptance of African American culture, we ask. Is that the reason why? Or is it just lack of knowledge about the history of black liberation? That question we ask. So, question six. With a Bacardi shot, I'd swallow that. I feel holidays like Juneteenth still don't get the recognition <laughs> they deserve. Can I, can I double, can I do this I'm double shot? Double. Double. <laughs> right. Of course. Absolutely. Bay and I went to the Juneteenth celebration here in Fort Lauderdale on Monday night. Elimination was one of the big voices uh, leading the event. Quite Legacy. an amazing event. The Legacy Builders. The Legacy Builders. Um, and that was an incredible um, event. Thank you so much for being you, a part of that. It was, it was powerful. There. there was spoken word. There was artistic talent being expressed. There was just it was beautiful, but we need more of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, um, my friend's dad, white guy, was mad because the banks were closed Monday. Yeah, mm -hmm. I heard that <laughs> repeatedly. Jesus What Christ. the F, yeah. my, guys? My closest circle of friends, uh -oh. two of my, I'm not, go, I'm not going to out them, my two closest friends, that was their comment <laughs> about Monday. The bank is closed. Mm -hmm. That's what you I, got from it? Instead of learning friends. and trying to find yeah, out why? But we'll bank. still have Columbus Day off where well, he came right. and raped and pillaged everybody, right? Yeah, but, but we're still, oh, we know what we're off today, yes. you know? Or, all, or, or uh, President's Weekend where Andrew Jackson embrace slavery right well, Sunday is a big party you got a party on Sunday because Monday you have it off well, listen I think it's gonna become bigger like I honestly you know I knew about it but the only reason why I actually pay attention to it is because I got the day off right my company was great enough to give me the day off and I was me like too. why the fuck we got the day off this was already been three years or so and I did not understand as to why I when I when you dive into it and you realize that little by little people are gonna start learning why people are gonna have the holiday as a federal holiday and people are going to start digging deeper and they're going to understand what this country did to African Americans yep. let me, and, and let how it affects us. I completely disagree with you. I, I do. Agree sure, with you, sure, but sure. Completely an opposite. I think Juneteenth is incredibly disappointing. I heard somebody say this week, which I thought was important, that arguably the two most important federal holidays, white guy said this, the two most important <laughs> holidays are July 4th and Juneteenth. And both represent independence. Sure. And when I heard that observation, I thought, wow, how sad Juneteenth is then. Because Juneteenth uh, is celebrated on June 19th, 1865, and it is a false promise yes. that does not arguably come well, for another 105 years, 104 years, let's say, and arguably still is not realized today. The July 4th celebration of our independence from Britain happens, and it only takes about 22 years before Britain is basically severed and thrown out of the colonies and the United States of America. And so to dive deep into that, and I, I appreciate that because what the, the celebration of Juneteenth is, is the fact of, of freedom delayed. Mm -hmm. Because the on New Year's Day, so if those of us who have in, in, in church and have folks of color who are worshiped, um, you know about watch night service on New Year's where, where, where black folks go to church and they pray. You, they, the thing is you have to be on your knees praying at New Year's. Well, that's because when slavery, Abraham Lincoln signed January 1st, all slaves were free. So slaves during that time were on their knees praying for freedom. Well, it wasn't until 1865 that freedom was identified to your point, not even achieved. And so we have to realize we cannot look at them the two the same because Juneteenth is an observation of freedom delayed where two years went by, where families were stolen, where people were born into slavery, where mm -hmm. people were kidnapped from the north, sold back into Texas to relive a, a, a horrible sacrifice that they had already escaped from. And so we have to educate that moment of those two years where people People die with praying for their freedom and never achieved it. And we also don't realize too, to your point about the holidays, I had a conversation with someone, a person of color, and we talked about the whole Juneteenth idea and what it really re um, resonates about. And we talk, I, talk, I shared with them about MLK Day. I lived, I have, I'm an old person like Al. And so I, my mother never sent us to school through MLK Day. And she would tell all my teachers, this is the reason why. 
this person said, wow, I've never realized that yet there was a time where we didn't have that day off. And so what we're now building is we're now going to build a legacy. So that way in 20 years, when our, when our young people don't understand what the, the, we, the work we've gone through to understand, there was a time where this country never appreciated the sacrifices that yeah. were made, the lives that were lost, the beatings that were held on for those two and a half years. Yeah. Well, that even, and still it's, don't, okay? It's, and, right, and, and, exactly. Like, and, and one of the volunteers that was there with uh, Legacy Builders with your group had a shirt that said free-ish. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I go, exactly. how perfect exactly. is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not, I guess that was my point. It's like people are going to start realizing the effects that it still has. Yeah. And like we're finally celebrating the day. But they're still not really free. No. There's not a really... A, a Hence why we can freely use the word, oh, you're just being woke as it relates to black people. Mm. Or, you know, the, the thing that, that I have for what given everybody hijacked. else mm. who brings up this, this topic, because I deal with people like you're talking about all the time, that the on um, Netflix and on YouTube, they released... The, do, have you seen the feature uh, documentary 13th? About the 13th Amendment? Mm -hmm and how they still after freedom like decided to control and how Absolutely. it even still continues up to today and how all the ku klux klan men in the 20s and the 30s like w that were in congress conspired and there's so much that goes or redlining into it. and things and like it that. is the best easiest read documentary or like you know to watch that the time passes so quickly so if i can encourage anybody if you have a friend look it up 13th okay. on youtube is the best documentary I've ever seen on that that I think will help change people's minds. So I also want to encourage folks to go back to look at the, state, the foundings of several states. The foundings of several states were built on the foundings the, the, to, to promote the existence of white culture. It was never meant to promote the existence of others. So even though at your point about the 13th Amendment, go back to how several states moving as we went west, it was all about white culture. Mm -hmm. So they, the, the politicians, as they were building this new America was never meant to be inclusionary. It was never meant to ensure all people were created equal. It was meant to ensure all white folks were created That's equal. Powerful, and it's written inside of a lot of the state's foundations and con You know, I, I, and, and before wow. we move on uh, and move out of I'd Swallow That, I just want to make two observations that Faye and I uh, briefly had conversation of uh, participating in the Juneteenth on Monday. We were participating in an LGBT event. One of the things that frankly was disappointing to me at this LGBT event is there was no straight community representation from the black community. You don't see organizations, whatever the organization would be that, that sustains and promotes um, black culture, uh, black political issues, whatever it might be, they didn't participate. So we're separate but equal even in the LGBTQ community on a Juneteenth celebration. Worse, I couldn't even say it out loud. Faye is sitting right next to me, and I text the message to her so she can read the message without us exchanging words. And my point was, you know, I hope the go forward of a Juneteenth celebration is that we don't need an event like this, that this event is integrated in all of the other Juneteenth celebrations around South Florida and around the country. Because the Juneteenth celebrations in South Florida did not embrace LGBT. So it's separate but equal even mm. in the black community for Juneteenth. I, there's uh, the heart of our problem. I will say you should reach out to Circle of Brotherhood in Miami who works with Ford Miami in that regard. And that is the only organization I know that kind of creates that bridge between that but, barrier. But, but also to realize too that we, all, we don't wear our queerness on our sleeve. And so, so sometimes you could be in a seat of, of black and brown faces. You don't always know that that's straight or gay. Right. And so there are so many, there were so many things that happened. There was, there was parades and things like that where queer and straight folks came together. You just don't know who is who. And so to your point, Al, yeah, absolutely. This uh, Legacy Builders is built on queer folks who decided to do something for the queer community, the black queer community, because we are often forgotten. We don't remember each other until it gets time to DeSantis comes and says, mm -hmm. hey, we're taking away your Langston Hughes, we're taking away your Zoe Hurston, we're taking away those people, but we can't only come together when they take away our, our people who are the Bayard Rusters. We have to come together when it's all on the table because until we come together, we won't defeat the enemy. So help me in, in very short order in a soundbite answer. Why doesn't the Juneteenth parade, wherever it is in South Florida, say, of course we want LGBT representation in our parade. Black community saying, 
we want black community LGBT in our parade. Why don't they do that? Because unfortunately, whitewash has happened and they've learned from the oppressor that gay folks are not welcomed into open spaces. So what the I Christian hear you mentality. say, I, I'm not putting mm -hmm. words in your mouth, mm -hmm. but what I hear you say is the black community oppresses exactly like the white yes, community. Yes, absolutely. And it's been taught. That's sad and that's what we have to change. All right. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency stay updated, and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.